All right, we will get ma uh, started with the manager of the Padres, Mike Schilt. Mike, thank you for being here. Um, if you have a question, just raise your hand. We'll get you the microphone. Who is the first question for Mike? The third row on your right, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Scan. Great to see you, man. Good to see you, partner. Hey, you've spent your entire life learning this game, teaching this game, growing this game. How meaningful is it to you to be a part of something like this to continue to grow the game globally? Yeah, no, this is uh, very important to me personally, and obviously, uh, you know, be a part of something special. To be in Major League Baseball in Seoul, Korea is pretty darn cool from a kid from South Charlotte. Um, so I'm excited about the opportunity to be here. Uh, it's a privilege to, to be in this game as it is, and I, I really love the fact that um, Major League Baseball is going the game globally. You know, it's always been called America's game, but I think that's something that still exists clearly, but now it's... Um, it's, it's the world's game, and that's what I um, am excited about. And to share our game of Major League Baseball with Korea is very exciting. Other questions for Mike? I'll go to Bryce right here. Hey, Mike, um, is, is it too soon for you to get a handle on the reception that Ha Sung is getting in particular here now that he's back in Korea? Or have you seen some of that early on? And it, what shape did that take? Yeah, you know, I think it's a little early for me to really appreciate it. We can feel the momentum building. You know, listen, we, we got to the uh, airport about 2 in the morning, and, you know, there was a, um, a good amount of people here, and, but Ha Sung was in front of me, and I could hear the, the cheer. So um, I could only imagine um, it's only going to continue to de develop over the next um, several days. And what is the importance of him being here in this environment, you know, the first regular season games ever in Korea? Yeah, it's got to be pretty special for him. I clearly can't speak for Ha Sung, um, but you know, to be able to come and play in a ballpark that he played in professionally, and come over, and then to come back to represent, you know, Korea with the Major League Baseball team is is um, quite special and obviously historic. Other questions for Mike? Uh, we'll get you the microphone over here. Hey, Mike uh, Ji Ho Yu from Yonam News Agency in Korea. Just kind of sticking with Ha Sung, he's going to play shortstop mostly this year. What are your, because he's been kind of playing all, all over the field the last couple of years, but are you going to kind of stick in the shortstop for, for the rest of, I guess, for the whole season, or are you going to maybe move him around a little bit later on? Yeah, no, he's, um, he's our shortstop. He played shortstop really well for us in 2022. You know, a club that got the National League Championship Series, finished top three in the gold glove two years ago. And then, um, you know, he moved around. He was a good teammate last year, moved around, second, short, third. Did a tremendous job, obviously won a you know, utility man gold glove. Made the decision to put him back at shortstop, and uh, we're excited about it. He's clearly an elite defender, and, you know, he's a big part of our club. Kevin, the first row on your right, Mike. Hey, Mike. Um, what's your plan for tomorrow in terms of pitching? Like, how, how what your usage in terms of getting both your relievers ready and then rest, and then also who's going to start? And yeah, Johnny Brito will start tomorrow, go a couple innings, and then we'll work out of our pen the rest of the way. And then um, I'm guessing a follow-up question, maybe who's going to throw the following day. Um, a gentleman by the name of Dylan Cease. <laughs> Cease will start <laughs> game two in the exhibition game. Other questions? Kevin? Well, since you went there, uh, can you speak to, to that and the addition, what that does at the top of your rotation? And, and I know your expectations were already high, but how does this help you guys' outlook? Man, what an addition. I applaud AJ for making our, our club stronger, our, obviously our starters depth. You know, that's a big ad right there, talking about a guy recently second in Cy Young, has been uh, nothing but successful in his big league career, has taken the ball, thrown not, not only a lot of innings, but a lot of quality innings. Um, the residual impact of Dylan, for, first of all, adding Dylan Cease, again, deepens our rotation. Now you run out, you know, no particular order, but we will be in an order. You know, Darvish and Musgrove and Cease and King, you know, we'll still finalize the final fifth spot. But, man, that's quite a formidable rotation with a lot of experience and a lot of winning taking place with that group. Um, but the other part of that is that what it does to – it allows us to not rush guys as much that are coming up through the system. I know we, you know, traded some guys that clearly we liked. Um, and so – we still have depth in the system. We don't feel like we had our rush players. And then also, it sets up our bullpen not only for additional depth, but also sets up our bullpen for freshness when you add a guy like that and you've got a starting rotation that can go deep in games. So um, it's a huge pickup. We're excited to have Dylan on the club. 
Go to Dennis right here in second row. Mike, when did he get here? Dylan? Uh, he got the same flight, different plane um, coming in. He got in, you know, late this past evening. So got in, had um, lunch with Ruben, the able our pitching coach, and just saw him in the food room. And he's ready to go. He's going to throw maybe a light bullpen today and then kind of take it from there. I'm sure you knew AJ. I've been trying to get him for some time. What was it like finding out you guys were, in fact, getting him shortly before you uh, went to the airport? Yeah, I mean, we came off that Cactus League W the um, last game of the year. And um, ironically enough, I saw you <laughs> when I saw AJ. And, um, you know, he went up and said, we've, we've got some action. And they shared with me about Dylan. We had not finalized it yet, but it looked pretty, for, you know, pretty promising. So, um, you know, it's interesting because, at least from my standpoint, you get through the last – regular season American spring training game and you're kind of like okay let's move on to what's next and it's a little bit of a all right we did that now what's next and then you come off the field and you're like oh we got Dylan Cease <laughs> pretty good gig so um it was a it was a nice nice uh, moment other questions Mike Doyoung Park MLB.com just continuing on Cease I mean there's many different ways to introduce yourself to a new team and meet your new teammates that this probably <laughs> has to be a pretty unique one do you have a sense uh, for what it's been like from his perspective coming in on a different flight and having to just kind of scramble to get adjusted and make all those introductions here yeah you talk about history I mean I gotta imagine that's pretty historic you show up for the first time get traded and you meet your club in Seoul um, and you know um, but he's excited I mean Talked to him briefly before I came in here. He got here, and you know he's sitting down across from Joe Musgrove, um, having a little breaking bread. So they're getting acquainted with each other, and um, you know I know he's excited to be here, and I am I'm excited to have him. Go to Bryce. Can you kind of talk about the progression of Hassan Kim? When he first got to the major leagues, he he was struggling a little bit to catch up with velocity, and he obviously worked on that and was able to to do that, and then to add a gold glove last year, kind of the whole package coming together. He's put it together. This guy's a ball player. I mean, I'm telling, you know, something this room already knows, but um, there was an adjustment period for him when he got to the States. The velocity, I think he'll admit that. Uh, I think it showed, but I'll give him a lot of credit. Clearly he worked on it, has continued to improve. This guy's a, just a baller. Um, but his hitting's better. He used the whole field. He's got a good idea about situational hitting. He's got some pop in his bat. Um, you know, he's played outstanding defense really probably since day one. It's now become a, you know, top of the line major league, you know, shortstop, you know, should be in consideration for another gold glove at that position. Also is a good base runner. I don't think that gets talked about enough. This guy's really good on the bases. The effort level's high, but also the instincts and the aggression, you know, they, they marry each other. So just an overall good player that has a chance to beat the other team in a lot of different ways. We'll go to the fourth row on your right, Mike. Yeah, Mike, I uh, just want to ask you about a different Korean player. Uh, KK is going to be here, actually, due to some uh, commentary from one of those games. Really? So, okay. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if you have uh, maybe a chance to kind of reconnect with him at some point this week. Or yeah, I would week. love to see KK. I had him in 2020 with you know, St. Louis and a little bit before that. and um, Yeah, it would be fantastic to see him. I'm, I'm sure he's doing great. He's a good guy and he's a really good pitcher. Anything else for Mike? Uh, we'll finish up in the second row on your right. Hi. How is the U Darvish condition uh, after the round trip? U Darvish. Yeah, Hughes in great shape. He's um, yeah probably gonna throw a bullpen tomorrow. He's obviously being our game one starter, and um, he looks good. Just saw him, and he's ready to go. We'll go back to the third row. Hey, Mike. Hassung has talked about back in 2019. There was a premier tournament that went on, and that was one of the things that really inspired him. He got a chance to play against some you know, double A and triple A players. What kind of an opportunity can this be for these young players that you're going to be facing over the next couple of days? I mean, in terms of what are you anticipating in terms of them trying to you know, step it up a notch and show what they can do against your, your club? Yeah, no, I'm excited about the exhibition games. I really am. You know, it's uh, interesting to see the style of baseball that's going to be played. And also, um, most importantly, scan to your question is um, what a great opportunity. Um, and I know AJ be watching. <laughs> you know, we scout this, we scout, you know, Asia quite, quite thoroughly. But um, yeah, it's a great opportunity for these guys to play and, you know, give them a barometer of what you know, the best in the world looks like. And so um, I'm excited about it. Anything else for Mike? I'll finish up with Doe. Just real quickly, how many, how many ups can you expect from Cease um, just with the environment and? His build up right now. Yeah, I think um, we've talked about it. He's been up to I think 61 pitches his last outing. 
So, you know, clearly with the flight and, you know, some of the different um, logistics that have taken place with him, we'll probably go two to three innings. I don't want to put a pitch count on. If he's working hard, it'll be less. If he's feeling good and um, ball's coming out easy, then, you know, he'll probably pitch a little bit more. All right, Mike, thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. Enjoy your day.